discuss about the crime behavior analysis using k means and machine learning now we are going to see about the overview of our process the main objective of our project is to identify the uh, crime based on our input data set attributes by using k means and machine learning algorithm criminal analysis is a methodological approach for identifying and analyzing patterns and trends in crime predictive policing means using analytical and predictive techniques to identify criminal and it has been found to be pretty much effective in doing the same because of the increased crime rate over the years system will have to handle a huge amount of crime data stored in warehouses which would be very difficult to be analyzed manually nowadays criminals are becoming technologically advanced so there is need to use advanced technologies in order to keep police ahead of them in our system the crime data set of india that contains record of crime for women in all states like so on and we will apply k means clustering for clustering the different type of crimes then we have to implement the machine learning algorithm such as decision tree finally the experimental results shows that accuracy precision recall and f1 score for above mentioned machine learning algorithm so this is the overview of our project this is the flow of our project first we have to take the data set the data set name as crime in india so the data set was collected from uh, data set repository like uzi github kaggle and so on after selected your input data or uh, carry out to pre processing step here we have to handling missing values handling missing values means we have to check any missing values in our data set if you have any missing values means we have to replace that missing values by zeros then label encoding so label encoding means we have to convert the string into numeric integer value after that the pre processed data are carried out to clustering module here we are uh, we have to cluster or grouping the different type of crimes by using k means then we have to implement data splitting module here we have to split your whole data set into test and train test is used for prediction train is used for evaluation after that the split data are carried out to classification module uh, here we are implemented decision tree algorithm so with the help of decision tree we have to predict the what type of crime either it is a criminal breach of trust or cheating so the classified data uh, are carry out or estimate to performance some performance metrics like accuracy precision recall so the accuracy means overall prediction how my model accurately predict in terms of percentage so this is the flow of our project Uh, this is the output of our project so first we have to uh, select your input data set after selecting your input data set we are displayed our input data uh, so here we are displayed some sample of data from our data set after that checking missing values so these are the attributes which is present in our data set so this is the count of missing values is present in that data set so the zero means there is no missing values the four means there are four missing values is present in corresponding attributes after checking missing values means so we have to replace that missing values by zeros then label encoding so label encoding means so we have to convert the strings into numeric integer value so this is the strings which is present in our data set so we have to convert these strings into numeric integer value then label encoding so af this is uh, after converting the strings into numeric integer value so the label encoding performs from alphabetical order then k means so we have to cluster the or group the different type of uh, crimes uh, in the form of visualization then data splitting so data splitting means this is total number of data is present in our data set 
then this is after splitting your data set based on ratio so the training data contains 403 then testing data contain 45 then we have to implement classification algorithm here we are implemented decision tree so with the help of decision tree we got 88 percent accuracy so accuracy means it is the overall prediction how my model accurately uh, predict in form in the form of uh, percentage then we have to enter the predictor value uh, here i entered 8 means so the 8 the test in test data the 8th row so indicates the cheating so it is the visualization for total number of crimes is present in our data so how many uh, actually in our data set they have the two different crimes one is the cheating another one is the criminal breach of trust so how many number of uh, cheatings or how many number of uh, criminal breach of trust so this is the output of our project thank you